Hi, I'm Todd with Whole Latte Love. We have Mark behind the camera, and we're here today to show you the heat exchanger ECM espresso machines. We got like the full line, a lot, lot of polished stainless up there, Todd. Yes, we do. We're missing one machine, and that is the Strega, which is a lever machine. So mm -hmm. it doesn't quite fit into this category completely, so we thought we'd add that on for another video. So kind of show you what we got here. First, we'll go over the names. Mm -hmm. Well, start from the bottom, work our way up. So these kind of That's are in order of cost almost too, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. This is ECM Mechanica, mm -hmm. ECM Technica 4. With the more roundy kind of profile. Mm -hmm. This is ECM Technica 4 Profi, and this is the ECM Electronica. So these two, last two are rotary pump? Correct. These two have rotary pumps. You can hook them up to a water line, or you can work them off a reservoir. Mm -hmm. They have the same type of um, uh, joysticks for the steam wands and the hot water wands. As opposed to the dials. On it's one of the dials yeah. down here. Yeah. These, for these two. They have the no burn hot water wands and steam wands. Let me double check that hot water wand. Yep, both hot water wands <laughs> and steam wands. Okay. <laughs> yeah, everything's good. Um, and these are not no burn, so you want to grab by the rubber pieces. I think you should prove it. Yeah, no, I'd rather not. Thank okay. you. <laughs> um, now inside here is a switch you use to hook between, switch it between water line and reservoir. Mm -hmm. You do that, and then there's a lever on the bottom of the machine that you turn. It's just, we don't have to show up, but it's very simple. Right. You just turn it 180 degrees to switch it between a water line and reservoir hookup. So it's actually mechanical, so that's just, that switch is just disabling like the water tank well, sensor? Exactly. It just disables yeah. the tank and the water sensor so you don't have to use the reservoir. So on these machines, the water reservoir, this little door opens up, and you can pull it out if you need to. And when you pull it out, these lights will flash to let you know that, did you see that there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, to let you know that what yeah. you already know is happening. Yeah, there's no water. <laughs> okay. Now these other machines on the Mechanica and the Technica, remember this is a Technica 4, this is a Technica 4 Profi, okay? Profi just means it has a rotary pump and the water line hookup. Uh, this one also has the reservoir that comes out underneath this door. Mm -hmm. The Mechanica, pull the top off here to get to the water reservoir. And now, uh, pump pressure control. It's kind of, I'll kind of breeze through this quickly here. Yeah. You control the pump pressure on the Mechanica with this little screw here. You can actually change the pump pressure if you have to, which is and actually the brew pressure. All of those, all of these machines have that same uh, yep. deal, right? That one's right yeah. there. Yeah. And these machines, it's actually underneath. Again, okay. I probably won't show you. Maybe we'll, when we get down to the other end, we'll okay. show you that. Um, now, the, the Technicas and the Electronica, they all have the same housing, which if you look up close here, is a nice rounded... Totally, uh, yeah. yeah. It's beautiful, real craftsmanship on these. Yeah. And we, if you inspect all the fitting, all the corners and stuff, you see they do a really nice job. Right on down to the... Yep, curved here. Yep. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. They got, yep. the, got the metal slides. slide. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, now, up on here, the difference between these two machines also is this is programmable. You can program these buttons to brew any amount of coffee that you want, mm -hmm. or you can use the manual button. So you just basically push it on, pump goes on. Yeah, it does its thing, and there you can hear the rotary pump. Yep. When you get to the programmed amount, it'll shut off all by itself. Like that. Mm -hmm. Now these other machines here works off of a lever. Raise the lever up to start the pump, and the brewing process, put it down to turn it off. Another difference between these is this has a three-way solenoid valve, which is behind this little box here. Mm -hmm. And this has a manual three-way valve. That valve just releases water pressure off the coffee when you're done brewing. So you get a nice dry puck. And uh, this one here, because of the controls, also has an automatic back flush cycle. So you push a couple buttons and put your back flush clean in your porta filter. It'll cycle five or six times, whatever it needs, to do a good cleaning of the brew group. So you kind of put it in there, walk away, just hit the button, yeah. and it does it all on its then own. Then come back and just have rinse everything out. And then also the uh, the two rotary pump machines, they have mm -hmm. a little more detail, portafilter wise, I mean they have the oh, angled yeah. Thanks handles. for bringing that up, okay. Let's see, I'll grab one of each here. Yeah. Oh, of let course, me grab them with a double, double spout. Grab one with a double spout. So they just sit a little yeah. flatter yeah. in relation. This is a nice angled handle, handle on it. Yeah. And the, and the, Technica 4 and the Mechanica do not. Mm -hmm. Also, nice little touch, little ECM branding over in there. Yep. It's nice. Mm -hmm. 
I like a little branding. And also we like that, you know, the, the like the lever handles here and the uh, porta filter yep. handles the end, the, the uh, yeah. pieces on those kind of match up. They, they all match and they feel good. Yep. It's got a really nice feel to it. Beautiful. Okay. That's, you, want to, you want to take a look inside? Yeah, let's, let's zip on down here. Okay, so we've got all three varieties. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And while I got my tape measure here, I'm sorry, let's take one more look yeah. at this. The height, just so you get an idea of the height. Right around 15 inches here. Okay, mm -hmm. so easy fit underneath the American 18 inch cabinets. Width is around 13 inches, a little under 13 or a little under 12 on the Mechanica. Mm -hmm. Inside the machines, here's the Electronica. You can tell because of the control That's box the up here. Box. Yeah. The only difference between the Electronica and the Technica 4 Profi is this has a Sarai pressure stat, this does not. Um, but they have very low amps going through this pressure stat, so not having a Sarai is not a problem. It's not going to burn so out. Be you won't, for, well, I won't need detail, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah. uh, both hook up to water line there, and this has a flow meter on it, which is right there. It's a nice commercial flow meter. I see that's a big car. Can too. you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's your rotary pump. These are commercial quality pumps and motors. So you shouldn't ever have to replace those. They'll last for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Now the, let's see, kind of give you an idea here. They have the same boilers, which are uh, stainless. stainless steel. Now the Mechanica and Technica 4. Which are the same inside. Yes, exactly the same inside. The they have a uh, copper boiler. Mm -hmm. And they have 1200 watt heating element. While we have 1400 on the uh, uh, Profi and the Electronica. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, self-serviceability, which I think is always kind of important for the home user in case you get kind of person that wants to go inside. Both pretty easy to work on, pretty easy to get at everything. Uh, the only difference being heating elements on these uh, stainless steel boilers is for uh, nuts and it comes right out. Comes right out. Yeah, but it's not something you should have to do. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take a look. Brew pressure control. Okay, if you have to change the brew pressure, on your machine, uh, right over there is okay. Okay, you just turn that screw and you control the brew pressure. Obviously, you can't do it; when the machine is tipped, right. but you can, you know, turn it, then turn the machine back on. So if you ever notice that your brew pressure gauge is not in the right spot, it's easy to reset That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a quick run through, but I think that should probably tell you everything you need to know. Uh, Mark, you think I'm missing something? No, I guess you know. It's, so we've got you know the the elect. Electronic dosing here. Yep. Um, now, why would somebody maybe want that as opposed to you know using the lever? It's a really personal preference. Yeah. I mean, if you want to just let's say load your port filter, hit the double shot button, walk away, go grab your milk, come back, you can start frothing. You do that. Normally, you want to froth first or at the same time. Right. But if maybe you have different family members, so you if somebody wants a different. single shot, double yeah. shot, that way you don't have to look at it and pay as much attention. Right, right. Um, so it's just personal preference. And they all have sort of the same gauge setup, right? With yep. The, uh, the yep. two gauges. They're all identical in gauges. So they're all the same. Yep. Basically, again, the, the uh, same front. Yep. And then the and then the big difference, of course, is you've got the you know the different sorts of valves on these two as opposed to yep. more of the correct stick yeah, the operators. Annual, you know, both work fine. Yeah. So with these, you can just push down, let it steam. When you're done. Just hit it up. You bang it up. Yeah. You can feather it a little bit if you want to, right. but there's really no need to on these. Right. The way the pressure is, you just crank it open, let it go, and you're done. Just shut it off. Okay. So we're, we're going to take a break, and if people want to hang around, we're going to do a little brew and steam here, just to give you an idea of what these are like, right? Yep. So, so uh, if you're not hanging around, thanks for watching. If you are, well, hang around. All right. So we're back, and uh, on Electronica, we're going to do a little brew and steam, right? Yep. Going to use the so programmable hit, feature. Just yeah. Hit the program button there and there we go. So now all these uh, have the two hole steam tip. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, that's kind of nice knowing it's going to stop pretty close to where you want it. And if you decide you want to stop it, you can always stop the brew yourself by pushing the button again there. That'll do it. So if you're looking over and say, you know, that doesn't look quite right, you can stop it. We're going to do a uh, right. espresso macchiato in a latte? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I decided to stop that myself. It's going a little bit long. Okay. 
So you still do have the control. Well, how do you feel about the uh, joystick? I uh, like it. Kind of. I like it. Okay. I, I really don't care. Yeah. They all work for me. I really. <laughs> the steam still comes out. Yeah. It just. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I mean, some people say it's less movement to control that, right, than having to turn a. I guess. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, the shell looks nicer. Yeah. I almost want to taste it without the milk, but. <laughs> <laughs> so that one's for you. Oh, thank I'll you. I'll take the latte. Okay. Um, so you can get an idea what the steam pressure is like there and how easy the, how the programming works, which is nice. So just keep in mind, yes, it's programmable, but you can use it as a manual if you want to, or mm -hmm. you can stop it in mid-brew if you're going too long. And if you prefer the lever action, there's... Yeah. Three more down the road there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, uh, so performance will be very similar between them. Maybe a little more higher steam pressure for longer because there's the higher wattage on these machines, but just a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but all machines should work very well. So remember, rotary pump, water line hookup, reservoir hookup for these. Mm -hmm. no these, good. vibration pump, reservoir only. Right. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. That's the, so the ECM heat exchange machines, kind of the full line there. Yep. Okay. Very good. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelottelove.com. Oh,